Hey there everybody, it's Nate with Doctors of Running. Today we are gonna to do a quick review of the Brooks Ghost 15. This shoe is one that has stayed consistent over a lot of iterations. There have been updates to this model, including a new midsole um, in the DNA Loft version two. We'll talk about the differences a little bit, but in terms of specs, we're looking at about 35 millimeters in the heel, 23 millimeters in the forefoot, giving you a 12 millimeter drop. Men's size nine comes in at 9.8 ounces. Women's size seven comes in at 8.8 ounces. And you are coming in, I think it's at $140. So the Brooks Ghost is a very traditionally shaped shoe. There are not extreme geometries. There's not extreme foams. There's no stiffening agents like carbon fiber plates. You have a pretty flat geometry. You have a flexible forefoot and you have a cushioning that doesn't sit super bouncy it does it's not super soft it's not extremely firm it's kind of in the middle of a lot of those things so from a running experience it's not extremely dynamic or crazy but i think that's exactly what brooks is going for with a shoe like this because their target audience is not only runners i think they design a shoe like this to be comfortable enough to do a lot of different types of activities for people wanting to remain active so a shoe that has more of a flat geometry that has a flexible forefoot mirrors what a lot of people are wearing day to day when they're not running. And the purpose of that, I think, makes it suit really well for newer runners. One of the things that Docs of Running that we say is that if you are transitioning to running, there are tons of new loading profiles on your body. There's tons of changes that your body has to adapt to. If you can minimize the changes from a running shoe perspective, that's great. The best shoe for you on your first take is probably not something like the Endorphin Pro 3 or any of these crazy stacked, crazy rock crazy stiff shoes you probably want something that has like i said a flexible forefoot and a more flat geometry so this is a you, not that everyone should buy a brooks ghost 15 for their first shoe but it is one of those that fits in a category of shoes that is suitable as a first option um, and it also doesn't mean that it can only be for new runners if you find that this is the right comfortable shoe for you it's it, it is very nice for daily training it has a very durable outsole but it's not going to give you a dynamic or exciting running experience that's just not what it's made for. I also think because of the geometry, it works really well for being on your feet all day and walking. I use this often in the clinic um, when I'm working all day as a PT, but it's, it's just one of those shoes, again, that if you had a definition of shoe in the Webster's Dictionary and they needed a picture, they could choose this shoe because there's it, it just fits a lot of the profile of, of what a shoe looks like and is. There's nothing exciting from uh, an innovation standpoint. The one thing from the new DNA Loft version two is that I do think that there seems to be some better durability in the Brooks Ghost 14. I had some issues right away with sinking too much into the foam um, after a couple runs and I started to get pressure from the areas that I was um, sinking into, whereas this one has maintained its resilience, uh, what seems like a little bit better through all of my testing in this shoe so far. We'll have more details on doctorsrunning.com, um, so you can check that out. It has my full review and further thoughts. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.